This cave extends underneath the desert. Aye. A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Perhaps we'll find Atreus's wounded animal down here. Lead the way, Kratos. I trust you to not get us lost underground. Lashing out at everything and everyone for their fate. They will not listen to reason. Combat is unavoidable. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Still, I wish it were not the case. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. This creature Atreus heard, why wait until now to free it? It was not a priority. We were too busy attempting to stave off Ragnarok to indulge in any desert dalliances. Shame. I imagine Atreus would have enjoyed a quest to free an injured animal. Yes, he would have. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to speak You did not. Atreus has chosen his path. I trust him to be safe. my own son when he was Atreus's age. Balder craved adventure, but with the words of the Norns repeating in my head... Your worry consumed you, as my rage once did to me. You overcame it, eventually. Thanks to Atreus, and his mother. Yes. Perhaps if Odin had loved his children as much as he loved using them, both would still be with us. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sensitivity, his compulsion to help any and all in need. That is his mother's influence. Despite all attempts to train him otherwise, Atreus was eager to help lost spirits or run errands for the dwarves during our travels together. Faye's influence runs deeper than that. Why do you think you're the one assaulting a cave full of hostile dark elves to save a wounded creature? <laughs> served as training for Atreus, or an excuse to gather resources while testing his abilities. But I made him a promise. His voice as my guide. And his voice told you to come out here? It would approve. Strange, that means more to me now than it did before he left. You've said it yourself. Atreus takes after his mother. His approval is her approval.
Gutha. I haven't seen one since I was a child. Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half Gutha I've ever laid eyes on! That howling... sounds familiar. It's the Song of the Sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. That must be the cause of the storm. Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. There must be a way to cut it loose. I'd wager that there's nothing here a well-placed throw of the axe can't solve. of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. How in the realms did they capture such a large one? Afghifas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. Even though it's bound by their hive? Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Baron. But if this is true, are we doing more harm than good by destroying this Hive? You wish to leave the creature enslaved. Freyr would have wanted us to do everything in our power to restore this realm. We will free it. I'd see a half goofa fly again. Can't believe the lad missed this. The storm is gone. The song of the sands has returned to Alfheim, albeit somewhat diminished from how I remember it as a child. Atreus will be glad to hear it is no longer in pain. You look forward to telling him. One day, yes. You gave him a gift, allowing him to walk his own path. I know that wasn't easy. I know you cared for him as well. You have always done right by Atreus. He is the best of us. Hmm. Well, nice to be able to have a real conversation out here for once.
Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. Thor. He never was one for the arts. No. We should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. The 
these rooms. She made the best swords in all the aisles and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. Bloody broker hole! We've got to clear out all these things get Forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Can't we destroy? We find two more. It's almost impressive. Under the 
I shacked up with the Aesir, aye. Another of my spectacular failures. In capturing these spirits, you seek redemption. I just want to send these bloody monsters to hell where they belong. Wouldn't exactly call it redemption, but I know I'll feel better once it's over. 